Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators in my investing club. And today we have a very special video for you. Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader, one of our other head moderators in chat, does his weekly review on his fundamental series. And today is episode 30. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length video or any of our exclusive content to become a member of MIC. What's going on, everyone? Chicago Trader here, checking in for the weekly fundamental video. I uh, hope you guys are having a nice weekend. Hope you guys have a good time at the uh, Philly event. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it. Um, this week, I'm just going to cover a few names quickly. Um, didn't have uh, anything like an RKDA, which you know, still kind of monitoring. Uh, before I jump into it, guys, as you know, this is not investment advice on my part or uh, on behalf of the MIC. Um, so a few names that I kind of jotted down. Uh, Jivo, this one moved, um, you know, kind of pre-earnings, um, chat room jumped all over it. And uh, if you guys don't know, I mean, I've covered this in like the second video I released on ATMs. Um, it's a, an alternative fuel company. Unfortunately, didn't catch any traction with earnings or anything, but uh, just a couple things. You know, I know the company fairly well. They have a huge ATM that's still outstanding. And then I actually happened to just catch this. Um, so well, first of all, let me jump into 10Q. So as simple as looking at the other market offering, they could do up to 84 million. Uh, they got over the baby shelf for a day and looks like they've used about 10 million of it, um, within the first year. So you come back here and they actually look like they upped it a little bit. So, uh, with HC Wainwright, so you can see that they can offer up to 89 million now. Excuse me, guys. That move was AKTX, uh, biotech company, decent sized company, you know, $30 million market cap. This one is similar to RKDA in terms of the offering. Um, so if you can come to the 424B5 here on the July 2nd. So they offer 2.3 million shares um, at, what was it, $1.90, right? So that's, it raises this much, they pay this much in fees. This is what the company actually gets net of fees. Um, so these, these things, you know, who's ever doing the underwriting on this, I'm not sure who it is, Pulse Investment Company. So once they get these shares right, since it's a registered direct offering, technically they can dump them, you know, whenever they want, but, you know, need some volume, probably, uh, I'm going to hold on to it for at least a little bit, you know, in my opinion, right. you'll see the uh, registration statement. Um, so there's a lot of stuff in it, as you guys know. So it'll tell you right here what they're kind of registering. And you can see that it's the warrants um, originally in the private placement in July 2019. So it's similar also in RKDA that once you come here and click on the file number, there's no effect. So this thing got above $3 for, you know, like 10, 20 minutes. It kind of squeezed out and then just died. And I think it's closer to two now. Uh, but yeah, they can't, they can't exercise them. Um... What else do we have? Oh, TRNX, another one I've covered in the past a uh, myriad of times. It's a larger company, um, just a complete disaster of a chart. I don't think it's ever had three days up in like the last two years, three consecutive green days. Um, yeah, you can see. Just diluted with offerings, co uh, convertibles, pre-funded warrants, whatever it may be. Um, I mean, you can see, uh, you know, just in like the last, you know, six months, they've got bunch of registration statements so i'm um, just going through these real quick guys um you know here it is they're you know it's a resale so they're um so basically somebody had a restricted stock is going to be able to issue these once this gets effect hey traders this is tosh i go by t bradley 90 in the my investing club chat just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about mic Joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.